Hey guys, Darcy Alice here. Today we're gonna to be going through everything you need to know about boxing footwork. So, the first thing before we get into the footwork, you have to know your boxing stance. So if this is your first time doing boxing, we made a video about the correct boxing stance um, on our YouTube channel. You can find that in the link below. All right, so once you're in your stance, either orthodox or southpaw, you wanna have your feet shoulder width apart and your toes pointing 45 degrees with your knees slightly bent for your balance. Now, I have a cross that I just marked out with tape here, just so visually you can see, so it's nice and clear. You can do so at home or just make sure that you have a space between both legs. Now, before we get to the footwork, what you don't wanna do is this when you're in your stance and be too linear. That way you have no lateral balance. So if someone was to push or you were to get punched, you'd fall over. So one, feet, one foot in front of the other, whether you're orthodox or southpaw, and make sure you have a little space between the legs. And as you can see, the tape's between mine. All right. So once you're in your stance, we're gonna talk about moving forward and moving back. So when you move forward, you wanna lead with your front leg. Because I'm an orthodox boxer, which means I'm a right-hander, my front leg's my left leg. So move forward with your front leg, a small little step, and then follow with your back leg like so. So all the moves in boxing, they're always a one-two movement. Now when I'm going backwards, same but different. I'm gonna lead with my back leg because I'm going backwards and follow with my front leg. One, two. Now if you just notice what I've done there, the steps aren't great big huge steps. Now if you do that like this, you're gonna lose your balance. We want our feet always to stay as close as shoulder width as possible. So the first step's gonna be a little bit greater than shoulder width, and then back to shoulder width. That's forward and back, nice and easy. One, two, one, two, just like so. Now practice that a few times till you get used to it, and then you can start making it more into a rhythm. So it's not one, two, it comes out together. Just like you're walking down the street. One, two, and you're in your stance. One, two, and you're in your stance. So that's linear, forward and back. Now we're gonna go through side to side. Now, similar deal, when I wanna go out to my lead side, again, because I'm a right-hander, my lead side's gonna be my left. I lead with my front leg, one, follow with my back leg, two. Now, when I wanna go to my back side, for me, it's my right side. Lead with my back leg or my right leg, one, two, just like so. Do that one more time. One, two, in my stance. Now you don't see the tape here, but there is a space between my legs. To the back side, one, two. Now, common mistakes I see all the time in the boxing gym, people crossing their lines. So what that means, if you're going forward, you're doing this, or you're bringing your feet closer than shoulder width apart. Now what that does from here, gives you no balance. If you were to get pushed or to get punched, you lose your balance and you become out of your stance. Now, again, same thing side to side. If I'm going to my back side, I don't want to lead with my front leg and do that. Or if I'm going to my lead side, I don't want to lead with my back leg and do that. Cross the lines. Always keep that space between your legs. All right, next thing we're going to touch on, that was the steps. Now we're going to practice walking in your stance. So making it a little bit more into a rhythm. So I'm going to start back here and just practice walking forward. Now the key word here is walking. So you want to make it like a walk. So if you're walking down the street, you don't go stop, stop. You put one foot in front of the other and you don't think about it. Same thing with your stance. Now it's going to take practice for it to come natural, but practice makes perfect. In your stance like this, little one, two steps, and you just do a continuous. When you get to the end of your mark, and then from there, you're going to go backwards, leading with that back leg. Little steps back just like so. Practice that a few times forward and backwards. Get nice and comfortable with it. And that's the idea. Now again, guys, if you notice, my steps are nice and short. Just like if you see athletes, if they're doing any um, agility work and they're going around the cones, they don't take great big steps all the time. Their steps are nice and short. And same thing with boxing. Because it is a sport that requires a lot of agility and a lot of kind of fast twitch fibers for your reactions, we want our steps to be short so we can change direction at any point. So little steps from here, then I can go back, I can go forward, and then you can play around with it. Now the exact same thing, moving laterally, side to side. So in your stance, going out to my lead side, little steps till I get to the end of my mark, and then back the other way. Little steps, that's it. I can change direction at any point. 
just like so. Now, once you get comfortable with that, you can start to put them in different combinations, forward, back, left, and right. And that's the idea. Just like when you're working the bag or you're in a realistic boxing situation, it rarely stays still or the person rarely stays still and stays hit me. Even when you're working the heavy bag, the heavy bag is gonna move. So there's no point knowing all your punches or being really good at throwing your punches if you can't land the punches. And the key to landing the punches is to able to be mobile, boom, boom, like so. Your feet take you there where you become dangerous and your feet also take you out of danger if your opponent's punching. The last thing we're gonna to touch on is skipping in your stance. So all these fundamentals always remain the same, but you can do them at different rhythms. The slowest rhythm would be the step. A little bit of a quicker rhythm is what we've done just before, which is the walking, one continuous motion. Now the quickest rhythm with your boxing footwork is what I like to call skipping. So it's the exact same thing, you just pick up the intensity slightly. So I'm going forward, becomes a skip forward. If I'm going back, becomes a skip back. I'll show you side to side if I'm going to the side. And same thing to the other side, my back side. Now, you can pick and choose when you do this type of footwork. If the pace is a little bit slower, you can practice your steps like so, or if it's a little bit quicker or your opponent's rushing at you or the bag's coming back quick, you can do it quick and get back to your stance when you're ready to rock and roll. That's it guys, that's Boxing Footwork 101. Like I said before, practice makes perfect. So repeat it again, 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 until you're absolutely sick of it. And that's how it's gonna be burnt in your brain. Now, a lot of good fighters, when you're first learning, it's gonna be a, a, a thought process. My stance, my elbows, my chin down. You have to process a lot of things. Through repetition, it becomes muscle memory. And once it's muscle memory, you're no longer thinking about the technique you start to think about strategy and putting all the different moves we're gonna learn in this YouTube channel together so you become a better boxer.